Okay, so I've had my hair in for about a good month and a half or so and um, I just I wanted this hairstyle because I didn't really want to have to deal with my hair but then again it's also very it's different it's not it's not a typical box braids or a Senegalese twist I guess you know it's yarn twist it has a different um, texture to it so I just thought that would be very cool you know to try out this video I went and purchased this beautiful bundle of yarn from Walmart. Uh, for my head, I used three, I bought three large bundles of yarn and I used about two and a half on my head and the half I have left is what I'm using, using on my edges. You would also need your shares, your shares and um, make sure you get the shares or scissors that are already dull because the yarn tends to make your scissors dull than it already is. And you also need um, hair clip, however many you want. Um, excuse me. Also need a lighter. I purchased this from a gas station for like a dollar or something. You also need to get an oil or any moisturizer of your choice to use on your hair. This is just to make sure that your hair, you know, like your hair doesn't get really dry inside of the, the twist. So this is going to add some moisture to it to make sure that your hair is still healthy underneath all that yarn twist. So make sure you always constantly oil your scalp and your hair while you have this twist on. And this is the one I use. It's called Organic Oil. Organics Oil. And it's ultimate solution for all hair types and, and skin types. You don't have to get this in particular, so just get anything that works for your hair. Okay, and yeah, if you guys want to find out more, keep watching thank you guys so much so i went ahead and cut up the yarn twist already as you can see right here i made sure i got them long enough to wear like if i was sitting down the hair would reach up to about right here so yeah i just went ahead and cut up, cut them up i will be taking eight strands per twist So now we're going to begin by taking off just a little section of this hair. I don't know if you guys can see, I hope you can. But yeah, and I'm just going to clip this off away from my face. That. Before I go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this organic, organic oil. Um, it says it's ultimate solution for all hair and skin types. So this is just going to help moisturize my hair underneath all this a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead with that eight strands that I, that I cut off. Now, this is very important. I want you to select four of each, put your hands in the middle of it, just select like four in each sections, and this is going to be your three strand. This hole is going to be one strand, and then this two is two, uh, this two are going to be two individual strands. So what you're going to do is that you're going to begin your twist with a braid before you start twisting it. So essentially you're going to braid like half, not halfway, but just a little bit right there, and then you're going to begin twisting. My, my three strands right just gonna use your hair your hair using your hand <laughs> you're going to separate your hair into three parts and divide them split them amongst the yarn if that makes any sense so I got one right here two right there and three right here now you're just gonna begin your three strand braid I make the ugliest face when I braid. Okay, now just continue to twist it until you get a little bit down. And you know because how I always know when it's time for me to combine these two fours, <laughs> if that makes sense, is when they end up at the right side. So obviously they are at the right. So I'm just going to go ahead and take, well my right I guess. I'm going to go ahead and combine them together and begin twisting one side while holding the other, the other hand with my 
other fingers. So I'm just going to begin to twist. And then after I've twisted this, I'm going to take it and put it in the back. See, I put it in the back and I'm holding it with my with my thumb, the side of my thumb, and my... What's this finger called? My... That's not my ring finger. But yeah, holding it with this finger right there. And then you're going to begin twisting the other hand, the other side, while still holding the already twisted side. After you've twisted, now you're just going to begin twisting down. Making sure that you're twisting as you go down. See, I'm still twisting the hair as I go and I, I'm just switching from side to side, I guess. Just taking this side, bringing it here. Watch my fingers. Twist. Twist again. So yeah, just continue twisting all the way to you get your desired length and if you feel like you've made a mistake as you're going make sure you go back and fix it because I'm very OCD with my twists like everything has to be perfect with hair so like if I make a mistake don't be lazy like just go back and fix it if you feel a lump in your twist go back and fix it nobody wants lumpy twists okay just me See, but when you get to the bottom, you're gonna take a strand of yarn, and what you're doing is you're just gonna tie it like make a little knot and pull so you're going to take whatever is the longest strand that you have you're going to wrap it around and then pull it through making sure that it's very tight and secure I'm going to go ahead and do the remaining three that I have left hopefully um, so just go on and keep applying the same method I'm going to continue to show you guys how I do it so hopefully you can kind of catch the rhythm and then you split your hair into three and divide them with the yarn divide them will give each three each strand of hair to yarn if that makes sense and now we're just going to do the three strand braid pretty basic i feel like if you don't know how to do the three strong and uh, three strand braid you could always just start twisting your head from the root but I feel like that hurts <laughs> hurts more than the three strand but I don't know I just like whenever I start my twists with the three strand I just feel like it's more secure and it lasts longer <laughs>
careful when you're doing this process because if you're not paying attention, you know, you could easily cut your hair would easily catch on fire. Like I don't know what else to say because this the yarn is very very flammable. So just make sure you use extreme care and if you can't do this yourself, make sure you get somebody else to do it for you. Don't